Hey everybody, welcome back to Bradyac Baseball's 1983 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians at Cleveland Stadium. On the mound for the Tigers today is Joaquin Andahar, whose record is 1-3 with a 4.30 ERA. And pitching for the Indians today is Eric Wilkins, whose record is 7-4 with a 2.97 ERA. So we managed to uh, pull out a victory yesterday. Uh, we won 7-6. to six. It was a game that really lost. The fact that we won uh, which was on a sack fly by uh, Alan Trammell, uh, the fact that we won the game is kind of almost felt like uh, they gave it to us because we haven't won in so long. Um, so we'll take the victory. No complaints here. Uh, Dave Rosema did not pitch well, though. He didn't get out of the third inning. Um, and, you know, I'm very concerned about our starting rotation. We do get Dan Petrie back in three days, so that's a good sign. Uh, looking forward to getting him uh, back into the rotation. We'll probably stick him in the number two spot. Move Rosie down to three, Joaquin down to four. And the fifth spot is most likely going to go to Tom Filer. Uh, we'll trade Steve Miura. We, maybe we'll do that um, prior to uh, that game starting and see if we can't find a prospect, perhaps, or a bag of chalk or something. Um, okay, so uh, James K. Uh, noticed when we did the headlines... If we go back here, Mariners walk all over the Twins. I did not see this, but he did. Uh, the Mariners won that game 27-5. to He wants to see the uh, box score from that game. I want to see it. Let's, so let's take a look real quick at the box score from this ball game. And they scored. It was up 8 to nothing after 2. And they scored 14 runs in the eighth inning. Oh, my God. That is the ultimate moguling. Um, how did that happen? Look at this. Everybody had an RBI except for Harold Reynolds. Everybody scored at least one run. Everybody had at least two hits. Wow. 26 hits. They actually scored more runs than they had hits. Four errors by the Twins. Let's look at the pitchers. Um, yeah, Tom Clowitter, who shut us out, he got raked over the coals, uh, giving up eight runs. Uh, Eric Rasmussen, who's got a scary, scary face, uh, he gave up five. Paul Boris, he natasha it, gave up seven. Doug Corbett gave up six. Roy Branch got the win going 10-8, and, and Mike Parrott. Kaka Tuki Tuki did, and they're in the uh, ninth inning. So yeah, I mean that's kind of an amazing game, twenty-seven to five. Um, so a uh, good catch by James. I mean he he wrote it, so he should know. Uh, I I did not. I mean I you know I try to read them, but I don't really think about it. Uh, so yeah, kind of amazing. Let's um go ahead and get today's game started. It is the fourth game of the four game series. Then as you see here, we head on um, uh, back home to face the Orioles, which are surging right now. They've got all of their players healthy um, and probably are primed to make a run for it. Joaquin Andahar pitching for the Tigers today. Uh, he's just been a disaster uh, since we traded for him. There's our bullpen. Only uh, four pitchers available today. Rucker, Thomas, the Creeper, and Weaver, who got his 18th save yesterday. Um, Dave Smith and Cappy and uh, Brian Kelly not available. Our lineup versus Eric Wilkins, who's by far their best pitcher. Uh, he's their number five pitcher. They actually skipped, they didn't even skip their number four starter, which is Wayne Garland. Uh, I don't know why they did that. Um, it doesn't seem fair, but they did. And uh, here's our lineup versus Wilkins. Ricky listed as tired. I am glad to sit him. Uh, we have Kevin Bass in center field. Ricky was 0 for 5 until he doubled to lead off um, the, uh, what, the 10th inning or whatever it was in extra innings. Uh, so he scored the game-winning run, but he's been a disaster too. Let's go ahead and do the official Tigers lineup rundown. I'm batting leadoff. 
Playing second base is Sweet Whitaker. Batting second, playing shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting third at first base is Eddie Murray. Batting cleanup and DHing today is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth, playing third base is George Brett. Batting sixth in left field is Kirk Gibson. Batting seventh in right field is Glenn Wilson. Batting eighth in center field is Kevin Bass. And batting ninth and catching today is Terry Kennedy. Let's take a look at Eric Wilkins. If this guy could stay healthy, he could be an ace for this team, at least statistically be an ace, maybe not with the ratings, but he's making his 15th start. That's a career high. He's 7-4 and four with a 2.97 ERA, 66 Ks in 97 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 239 against him. He's got one complete game. His fastball tops out at 96 miles an hour. It's pretty impressive. Uh, ground ball percent is 45 and a half. His fastball is rated a 93. He's got a curveball, which um, he's a one-pitch pitcher, really. Overall rated a 79, and he goes to arbitration at the end of the season. Let's look at his log. He did face Detroit once and beat us, throwing his only complete game. He went nine innings, giving up two runs on four hits, striking out seven. So he does have a a victory against Detroit this year. Let's take a look at the Indians' defense. It looks like they've got everybody back where they belong. And Sweet Lou will lead off against Eric Wilkins. Here we go. Lou, ground ball, base hit up the middle. Just scoots past the second baseman, Bonilla. And the leadoff man is on. That's a hit and run situation for Trammell. Now, the Whitaker and Trammel both do have no at-bats against Wilkins. I find that hard to believe. A comebacker to Wilkins. Whitaker will advance. He is in scoring position now for Eddie Murray. Murray batting 296, leaving the team a batting average. And home runs. A ground ball to second. That'll move Whitaker over again. He's 90 feet away with Hatcher at the plate. Hatcher batting 279, 269 versus righties, and a ground ball to third. So we strand the runner at third base. We go to the bottom of the first inning. Let's take a look at the Indians' lineup rundown. Batting leadoff playing third base is Kevin Romberg. Batting second at second base is Juan Bonilla. Batting third in center field is Vaughn Hayes. Batting cleanup in right field is Dan Pasqua. Batting fifth at first base is Carl Pagel. Batting sixth and DHing today is Gary Gray. Batting seventh in left field is Jerry Turner. Batting eighth and catching is Chris Bando. And batting ninth. At shortstop is Jerry the Dibber Dibzinski. Let's take a look at Juan Keen and Duhar. Not good. Making his 10th start. He's 1 and 3, 4 and 7 overall, uh, with a 4.30 ERA as a Tiger. 27 Ks in 46 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 244 against him. Not much of a fastball. His fastball is as bad as or as slow, depending on how you look at it, as Dave Rosemus. Uh, we shouldn't really have two pitchers that are that uh, terrible at throwing a fastball uh, in your rotation. Uh, his ground ball percentage is 45.4, and his fastball is his best pitch. <laughs> so that's not good. He's rated at 86. He's got a slider and a curve. The 30-year-old righty is uh, going to free agency at the end of the year. Uh, we, he will not be re-signed by us. Okay, oh, let's take a look at his log. Has he faced Cleveland yet? Yeah, his very first start in a Tiger uniform was versus the Indians, and he gave up four runs in three and two third innings, so not good. In fact, now that I'm looking at it, he's only gone 100 pitches in one of his nine prior American League starts, so not good. Okay, let's take a look at the Tigers' defense. 
Everybody where they belong, with the exception of Kevin Bass in center field. And Kevin Romberg leading off against Joaquin Andahar. Here we go. Wow, that looked like ball four. Doesn't matter. Base hit in center field. And the speedy third baseman is uh, probably going to take second base. Lead off man is on. So Juan Benilla up next. A fly ball into left field. Gibby playing some pretty solid defense out there. Makes the catch. Now Romberg has to be on the run here, right? With Von Hayes up. Hayes had a big home run. And there it is, yeah. So Romberg gets a stolen base. His 24th of the season, 24 out of 36. He is in scoring position for Von Hayes. 1-0 count. He's leading the team with 18 home runs, and he drops it into right center field. Romberg scores, and it's 1-0 Cleveland. Next up, got three lefties in a row. That is a problem for any right-handed pitcher. Next up is uh, pass while he goes deep. So that will probably be, be all that Cleveland needs today with Eric Wilkins on the mound. Three straight hits. No, it's not straight hits, I guess, right? As uh, Bonilla was out in there too. Joaquin Andahar, like, who would have thought he would be so horrible as uh, Gary Gray hits into a double play? So it's 3 nothing. We're headed to the top of the second. George Brett leading off. He pops it up. One out. Here's Gibby. Gibby walks. Gibby finding ways to get on base. He hasn't been all that great lately. Uh, but he did have that, uh, his last game, he almost hit for the cycle. Wilson with the hit and run on, dumps it into right center field. Oh, it does fall in. Short hop by the center fielder, Von Hayes, and Gibby advances to third. All right, well, we're going to let uh, Kevin Bass swing away. He's batting 265 versus righties. His first pitch swinging. Oh, wow, well, pitch. It scores a run. That's going to be our only run of the day. They're giving us that one right now. And uh, now uh, we've reached our, our pinnacle for the day. <laughs> yeah. Strikeout and then um, Kennedy uh, ground ball. So, yeah, they're going to give us the one. We go to the bottom of the second. Jerry Turner leading off. Turner, yeah, he's hit us hard all season. All four of the left-handers all got hits. Uh, first time through the lineup. Let's see if Chris Bando can follow that up. He's a switch hitter, batting lefty. A comebacker to Andahar. Only play was to get the runner forced at second. One down. Here's the Dibber. The Dibber had a career game yesterday. Leading off, he was, uh, well, I think he got out in his last at bat. At one point, he was 3-for-3 three three with a walk. Still a sub-200 batting average, despite the solid game yesterday. He pops out to Whitaker, two down, and we're back to Kevin Romberg. Led off the game with a base hit. Scored a run after he stole a base and the hit. First and third, two down. Here's Juan Benilla, last batter probably for Andahar. A ground ball to second, and he gets out of the inning. He lives to pitch another day. We go to the top of the third. Tigers are down, three to one. Top of the lineup with Sweet Lou leading off. That's a pretty good wood. Flying up to deep right center field. One out. Uh, travel grounds out and Murray yeah. yep we're just in button click mode at this point we go to the bottom of the third can Andahar get a left hander out any of them what is this splits 
Lefties are batting nearly 300, while righties are batting 219. Which makes sense. I mean, that's kind of how it should be. Although it very seldom ever is. Nice job by Andahar getting his first strikeout. I also want to check one more Andahar stat here. Okay, yeah, he's just not a strikeout pitcher. That's all I wanted to see. Okay, so one down. Here's Danny Pasqua. He had the home run. It was his 14th of the season. He had a day off yesterday, so clearly he's come back with uh, a vengeance. Grounding out to second. Two down, and Pagel walks. Three true outcome guy. So almost through the lefties. As Gary Gray steps in, a wild pitch moves him over. Gray will get a base hit. Yep, and take a little score, because that's how it works. Fuck this game, man. <laughs> and then a below average DH steals second base. And then another base hit. This game sucks so bad. I can't even... I can't justify its existence anymore. Banda with a hit. Now it's all the righties, by the way. Yeah, clears the bases. So that's it for Joaquin Andahar. And we don't really have anyone who can go the distance here. Uh, not the distance, but, you know, like give us some, some innings. Let's take a look real quick at uh, the endurance. Um, yeah, there's a reason why Rutgers are temporary closer. Oh, uh, Roy Thomas has got a 48 endurance. So, Roy Thomas it is. This, this is so unbelievably bad. Ten hits off seven runs. We go to the top of the fourth. It's seven to one. I'm actually at a point now where I don't even want to finish the season. Like, it's just no fun. I mean, the gameplay is so horrible. You're telling me Eric Wilkins is a better pitcher than Joaquin Andahar? He just mowed the side down. Hall of Famers. Unbelievable. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Juan Benilla. He's actually not been doing too well against the Tigers. What is he today? Let's just flip over to the in-game stats. It doesn't matter. Yeah, he's 0 for 3, and he had a bad game yesterday, too. Every, it's the third in it, or through three. Fourth, uh, what is this? The third time through the lineup, and everybody has a hit. But Juan Bonilla. And then we're not talking about actually good players. Uh, Hayes, a five-tool guy. And Danny Pasqua had power. And a pretty good defense guy. Everybody else is total trash. And they're going to win three out of four at home here. Makes no sense at all. We go to the top of the fifth inning. We're just pushing the buttons. That's all there is to do here. A looper into left center field. Yeah, that the the wild pitch is the only run we're going to score today, and they had to give that to us. Bottom of the fifth. Our bullpen is going to pitch a shutout because they've already got seven runs. So it, it actually doesn't really matter the order in which we use these guys. Um, same thing happened yesterday. We brought in the bullpen, and other than uh, Capizello giving up a home run that actually gave Indi uh, the Indians a lead, um, we shut them out the rest of the way. You know, so like we already know, no one's going to score against our, you know, our um, our relievers. The only real mistake I made is I should have taken Andahar out after the first inning, and we might have still had a chance. So maybe we get another one here. Now he hits it to third, so Whitaker will hold. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, there's just there was never going to be a second run scored. And then the best hitter in baseball strikes out looking against a literal nobody. With runners in scoring position, doesn't even swing. Yeah. Roy Thomas. If I now if I started Roy Thomas, do you think he would have made it through three innings with one hit? No. Of course not. Good job by Roy Thomas though. Yep. Just pushing the buttons. No thought required. Which is good, because I I barely have much to give. A one, two, three inning. Um, what do we have here? We're gonna let Thomas pitch to one more righty. And then we'll bring in the creeper. Paul Gibson. This is new card. Hi guys. I'm gonna come in, we're gonna try to get a couple outs here. Von Hayes. Oh, he hits him, you son of a bitch. Oh, maybe Gibson is going to give up a bunch. The left-handers are crushing the lefty because, of course, why would why wouldn't a left why would, what are the odds that a left-hander three left-handers in a row would have the advantage on a left-hander, right? Makes total sense. Lefties are batting 409 against him, right? Well, let's pull the infield in since uh, right-handers right are only betting 160 against him. Oh, he's got to clear the bases. Oh, everybody just moves up one. Now it's lefty on lefty. Comebacker, but the run's going to score anyway. Yeah. Because, of course, why wouldn't it score? It's, when it's hit to a, our guy, we don't run. But when they, uh, when they do it, Gibson, of course, would not think to go home with it. And another walk. So, we're going to bring in Roger Weaver. Two down. And another comebacker to the pitcher, because, of course. We go to the top of the eighth. Tigers are down 9-1. to one. I guess the only question left is, are they going to give us like a sympathy run or two? Yeah, there might be some garbage runs here. A wild pitch, of course, a wild pitch. And then a walk. Nope. Uh, yep. Ground out to third. Let's see if Weaver can close this baby out. No, of course not. How is that only a single for a guy with 88 speed? Doesn't matter. It's followed up by another single. They're going station to station. Ground ball to Murray. <laughs> not, not a double play. <laughs> Infield in. And another comeback here to the pitcher. Happens all the time, all day long. We go to the top of the ninth inning. Wilkins officially tired. Yeah, this would have been a shutout if they hadn't given us one run. And that's the ball game. All right. Why do I even bother playing this game? Um, we are officially one game back of New York and of uh, Boston. Um, headline. California loses, drops. Wait a minute. You're telling me the Angels aren't in first place anymore? Oh, Seattle. They are the probably the better team. California suffered a lot of injuries, so 
All right, let's take a look at headlines here. Um, maybe I should read these a little bit closer. Roger Slagle pitched strongly for eight innings. Uh, yeah, so this pitcher has only thrown two complete games this year, both against the Tigers. Imagine that. Um, yeah, Brett was hitless. Murray, yeah, 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 whatever. Uh, let's take a look at transactions. Here we are coming to the trade deadline, and we have not had a trade by... Uh, an opposing team. When was the last trade we had? How how fucking stupid is that? The trade deadline is coming up, and there not has there's not been a trade by opponents since June twenty second. Uh, why would why I don't get it? Um, I guess let's take a look here. Uh. Yeah, nothing, of course. Nothing happened. Let's pull up the box score and get out. Tigers lose 9-1. to one. We give up. We had three games in a row where we gave up more than 10 runs. We gave up six in the one that we won, and we gave up another nine today. Joaquin Andahar gives up seven in two and two-thirds, and then Roy Thomas comes in, and he's going to be the team MVP for today, the game MVP. We're going to give it to Roy Thomas. That's easily his first. We had three hits after what? After having one, two, four, five. So we had seven and eight extra base, four, five, six. We had seven extra base hits yesterday, uh, none today, with the number five starter, in which they skipped the number four starter to get to. Okay. Uh, and there were two for two on stolen bases. Um, so, yeah. Congratulations to Eric Wilkins, who was a nobody and is a nobody, but not today. We're going to come back tomorrow, play the Orioles at Tiger Stadium. Until then, everyone have a fantastic night.